Picture this. It's a warm summer evening. The scent of buttered popcorn lingers in the air, and you're sitting in a dimly lit movie theater, eagerly awaiting the start of a cinematic journey like no other. The year is 1976, and the screen before you flickers to life with the epic tale of courage and sacrifice midway. As the credits roll and the opening scenes unfold, you're transported to the heart of World War II, where history hangs in the balance, and heroes emerge in the most unlikely of places. Perhaps it was your very first encounter with Midway, a film that would etch itself into the annals of cinematic history. Or maybe you recall the hushed whispers of anticipation from fellow moviegoers, the collective gasp as the Pearl Harbor attack unfolded on screen, or the triumphant cheers that erupted as American aviators took to the skies in their desperate bid for victory. Regardless of the specifics, Midway has a way of etching itself into the collective memory, a testament to the power of storytelling through film. Now, as we journey beyond the screen and into the world of random facts about this iconic movie, let's uncover the hidden gems, the behind-the-scenes anecdotes, and the trivia that will deepen your appreciation for Midway. From casting choices to real-life naval officers' involvement, prepare to be fascinated by the layers of history and craftsmanship that make this film a timeless classic. So, buckle up for a ride through the corridors of cinematic history as we unveil the intriguing tidbits about Midway. It's a journey that will shed new light on this beloved movie and leave you with a deeper understanding of the remarkable events that inspired it. And it's all right here, waiting for you to discover. Dive in and let the adventure begin. The 1976 movie Midway is a gripping war film that portrays the pivotal battle of Midway during World War II. Directed by Jack Smite and based on historical events, the film dramatizes the courage and valor of American soldiers and pilots who turned the tide of the war in the Pacific against the Japanese Imperial Navy. Notable characters include Admiral Chester Nimitz, played by Henry Fonda, and Captain Matt Garth, portrayed by Charlton Heston, who lead the American forces in a high-stakes battle that changed the course of history. The movie's unique style lies in its meticulous attention to historical accuracy, showcasing epic aerial and naval battles through impressive practical effects and cinematography. The film's intense portrayal of the human element in warfare adds depth to the characters and their struggles, making it more than just a typical war movie. Midway had a significant impact on popular culture, contributing to the enduring fascination with World War II history and the heroic deeds of those who served. It inspired subsequent films and documentaries, and its portrayal of bravery in the face of overwhelming odds continues to resonate with audiences today, making it a timeless classic. The 1976 movie Midway is known for its portrayal of pivotal moments in World War II. One interesting fact about the film is that the scenes depicting Lieutenant Colonel James Harold Jimmy Doolittle's Tokyo Raid at the beginning of the movie are actually from the 1944 film 30 Seconds Over Tokyo. In 30 Seconds Over Tokyo, Robert Mitchum played the role of pilot Bob Gray. In Midway, he took on a different role, portraying Admiral William Halsey. This blending of footage and actors from different films adds an intriguing layer to the production. Another noteworthy aspect of Midway is its limited access to wartime aircraft. The production had only three wartime aircraft at its disposal, which explains the heavy reliance on stock footage to recreate the intense aerial battles of the Pacific Theater. This limitation forced the filmmakers to be resourceful in their approach to bring the historic events to life on screen. One unique feature of the film is that Charlton Heston's role as the aide to Admiral Nimitz was the only fictional character in the movie. While many of the characters and events in Midway are based on real historical figures and occurrences, Heston's character adds a fictional element to the narrative. In summary, the 1976 movie Midway stands out for its use of footage from another film to depict a significant event. Its reliance on stock footage due to a limited number of wartime aircraft and the inclusion of a fictional character in an otherwise historically grounded story. In the 1976 movie Midway, there's a lesser known fact about Tashir Mifune, the acclaimed Japanese actor. During the actual Battle of Midway, Mifune was far from the Pacific Theater. He was in Manchuria, undergoing training to become a fighter pilot. While Mifune wasn't directly involved in the battle, his presence in the film adds an interesting layer of authenticity, given his personal connection to the world of aviation during World War II. 
Mifune's role in the movie was a testament to the international nature of the production, which aimed to portray the Battle of Midway from both the American and Japanese perspectives. This inclusion of Mifune, who had become known for his roles in Akira Kurosawa's samurai films, added a unique dimension to the cast. Additionally, it's worth noting that several key figures involved in the making of Midway had their own wartime experiences. Actors like Henry Fonda, Charlton Heston, Glenn Ford, Hal Holbrook, Cliff Robertson, and Robert Weber were all veterans of World War II. Screenwriter Donald S. Sanford and director Jack Smite also had military backgrounds. This wealth of real-life military experience likely contributed to the film's authenticity and attention to detail in depicting the historic battle. On a lighter note, Henry Fonda, who portrayed Admiral Nimitz in the film, had an amusing anecdote related to his role. In order to resemble Nimitz, Fonda's hair was dyed. However, much to his chagrin, his hair never fully returned to its original color after filming concluded, leaving him with a permanent reminder of his time as the legendary naval commander. Midway, released in 1976, remains a classic war film that captures a pivotal moment in World War II history. Its blend of Hollywood talent and real-life military experience ensures its enduring appeal among history buffs and film enthusiasts alike. In the 1976 movie Midway, one interesting fact worth noting is that most of the Japanese air raid sequences were actually borrowed from another film, Tora. Tora. Released in 1970, this decision was likely made to save time and resources during production. Midway aimed to recreate the pivotal battle of Midway during World War II and using footage from Tora. Tora, Tora, helped achieve that goal. The movie also found success in Japan, despite its American perspective on the battle. Japanese audiences appreciated the portrayal of their army as brave and resourceful. This unexpected positive reception in Japan highlights the film's ability to bridge cultural divides and portray the bravery of soldiers on both sides of the conflict. Towards the end of the movie, there is a closing epilogue that features a quote from Winston Churchill. The quote reads, The annals of war at sea present no more intense, heart-shaking shock than this battle in which the qualities of the United States Navy and Air Force and the American race shone forth in splendor. The bravery and self-devotion of the American airmen and sailors and the nerve and skill of their leaders was the foundation of all. This quote underlines the valor and determination of those who fought in the Battle of Midway, emphasizing the movie's central theme of heroism. In summary, Midway utilized footage from another film for its Japanese air raid sequences, found success in Japan for its portrayal of Japanese bravery, and ended with a powerful quote from Winston Churchill. These elements contribute to the film's historical significance and impact on its audience. As we bring this journey through the remarkable world of the 1976 movie Midway to a close, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the impact this cinematic masterpiece has had on your own personal connection with history, heroism, and the indomitable human spirit. Midway isn't just a film, it's a chronicle of courage, a tribute to the brave souls who stood on the precipice of destiny, and a testament to the resilience of the human heart. Perhaps you found yourself captivated by the stunning aerial sequences, where the roar of engines and the thunder of explosions transported you to the very skies where history was forged. Maybe it was the portrayal of Admiral Chester Nimitz, played by Charlton Heston, that resonated with a symbol of unwavering leadership and determination in the face of overwhelming odds. Or perhaps it was the film's ability to capture the essence of sacrifice of ordinary men called upon to perform extraordinary deeds that left an indelible mark on your soul. The camaraderie, the valor, and the sacrifices made by those who fought in the Battle of Midway are etched in our collective memory. Now, it's your turn. Share your favorite memories, thoughts, or insights about Midway in the comments below. How did it make you feel? Did it inspire you in any way? We'd love to hear your personal connection to this iconic film and the lessons it imparts. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic voyage with us and for sharing your thoughts. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Until our next cinematic exploration, keep the flames of curiosity burning bright. Farewell, and may your own battles be fought with the same courage and determination as those depicted in Midway, a timeless testament to the human spirit.